All right, hi everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a quick little video on how I test for silver content in sterling silver. Um, these are just two different uh, vials of my silver testing solution, which is basically just a mixture of mostly sodium or potassium dichromate. Uh, you can use either one actually, and uh, nitric acid. Um, this one you can kind of see uh, what it looks like. The nitric acid itself is basically a clear solution. When you mix it with the potassium dichromate, it gets that kind of orangish twinge to it, tinge to it. Um, and then I typically just kind of keep it in this vial here. Uh, this is some of the silver that I'll be using here coming up for uh, refining here in the near future. Um, and then this is just a kind of a quick glance at uh, the refining process. Uh, this is all located in a fume hood, pretty important uh, for the refining process due to the pretty toxic gases that that process gives off. All right, so what we'll do is I'm gonna show you on a couple of these pieces. So this piece here um, is unmarked. Uh, so I'll kind of show you testing on this and what that looks like. And then this piece, it's going to be really uh, hard to see, but it does have a sterling silver marker on here. Um, or stamp, I should say. Let's see if I can get it to show up anywhere on here. Yeah. There it is. I actually can kind of see that. All right, so I'll, t I'll show you on both of those pieces and kind of what this reaction looks like. So let's get this set up. I'm going to take my solution here. And we're going to take just a drop of this and put it right in the center there. What we're looking for is a reaction that gives us kind of a crimson... Uh, type of color here with some crystals in it and I'll show you pretty easily what that looks like and we're getting definitely a positive reaction for silver here so that's a great sign given that this piece was unstamped or unmarked so this reaction took place quite quickly as you can see uh, this is what I've been using off but you can see the crimson ones on there that's the, the what we're looking for those kind of crimson or almost purplish types of uh, uh, colors there so we got our clean side here. I'm going to wipe that down. And there you can kind of see the crimson type of color reaction that we get. All right, and then to verify, I'll kind of show you the same process on this one that we just looked at or that I showed you that is stamped and marked. So I'll just take my dropper again. We'll place a little bit on that. Of course, we should get the same reaction. I haven't tested this piece already. As you can see, we're already starting to get that kind of deep purple or crimson um, reaction there. This does, by the way, kind of damage the silver. It does leave that spot on there. You could see when I wiped off that last one, this one's already taken place. And again, we have that crimson uh, crystals and color there that we're looking for in that spot that it's going to leave. So if you're testing something you plan to keep or use, you could kind of polish that off, but it will leave some form of a mark. So depending on what you're doing or using that piece for, keep that in mind. Um, now let me show you, just because you'll get other things that may have a, uh, you know, maybe copper based or um, zinc based, they may have some sterling silver plating on them. Let me kind of show you what kind of reaction we get. This is a copper pen. You can see I've already kind of tested this, but put another drop on here and we'll see what uh, reaction we get and how different that is. And with copper, typically you're gonna get kind of a greenish blue reaction uh, and not that purple or crimson 
And you can see that we're getting that greenish blue pretty, pretty well right there, as expected. Yeah, look at how blue, almost turquoise that that is. Yeah, that's kind of what you can see what we got there and what it did to that copper penny. All right, so this time we'll test something that is not actually um, all sterling silver, which is this kind of mug piece here or teapot. Uh, this is sterling silver plated, um, but if we test the bottom, really if we test anywhere on here, uh, what we should get is maybe a little bit of a sterling silver reaction. And then depending on what kind of a base metal this has, um, we should get some other color or form of reaction. And this is the kind of stuff you're gonna come across that you really want, don't want to be fooled by. So let me kind of show you what this looks like. I'm gonna again grab my dropper here. We'll put uh, a good drop in the center there. Let that have its reaction. You can see that we're getting almost immediately a little bit of that kind of green turquoise type of reaction. Let's see if we get much of anything else. Now it looks like that's probably about all we're gonna get. And you can kind of tell just by the you know difference in you know, what we're looking at here as far as, you know, the inside of this versus the edge over here, you can kind of tell that this is typically what sterling silver does look like when it ages and it gets tarnished. So yeah, pretty clearly, again, not that crimson, but that kind of bluish or greenish, like turquoise color, which is going to be uh, most likely sort of a copper base. Um, also, zinc can have that kind of a similar reaction as well. All right, so this might be kind of difficult, but let's see if we can't get this to work out the way I propped this up and see if I can't kind of show you guys what this is going to look like with a uh, uh, sterling silver plating reaction and then with what we see underneath. Hopefully I have this propped up enough, well enough that this won't just run right off here. Uh, let's see, hopefully maybe that'll be all we need. Let's give that a go. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, it's starting to kind of pour off. Let me see if I can redo this a little bit for you guys. Yeah, unfortunately that's not quite working out. I might have to try to find something else to show you this test with. Uh, maybe we can get that drop to stay on there. Yeah, not so much. But typically what you're going to see with that is uh, and in fact, I guess some of that solution did stay on there. It's just a little bit hard to see, but really this was just kind of a, yeah, you can see it's even bubbling there a little bit. We did get that kind of turquoise reaction. There it is. Sometimes what you'll see, however, is you'll get a little bit of the crimson, uh, and then, um, following that it will turn to the blue or, uh, the turquoise or depending on what that base metal is. Uh, it may even just kind of stay orange um, or get back to an orange type of color, again, depending on what your base metal is. But as you can see, uh, we really didn't get a positive silver test with this at all. But sometimes with the silver plating, you'll get a brief kind of crimson and then it'll kind of the, the base metal will take over uh, and you'll get that, again, kind of negative uh, silver test. All right, just for fun, let's go ahead and do one more. Uh, this is a nice little uh, cup. Uh, I mean, you can see it has that tarnish on the outside. A lot of the times what the silver plating will look like 
the bottom of this one. Um, it's hard to see maybe in the video here, but it almost has a copper type of look to it. This does, if we look close enough, you can see it says Sterling on there. Um, but, you know, this one would be one that would be questionable, especially if it wasn't stamped. I have not tested this as of yet. So let's go ahead and test this and uh, see what we get. Again, this is what we're using here. I know it's not much when I just show you a bottle with a label of warning on there, but mostly this is that mixture of nitric acid with some potassium dichromate. This one's taking a little bit longer to react. And it looks like we're looking good. I mean, for a second there, it was, you know, maybe even a little concerning, like this might not actually be silver. But there again, we get that just telltale kind of crimson, crystally effect that we're looking for. You can see that kind of bubbling reaction. All right, sorry about that. We got a, I got an amber alert uh, as I was filming this with my phone and it stopped recording and I didn't realize it at the time. But I just wiped that off. You guys could see that crimson reaction that we got, exactly what we're looking for. Here's what I wiped off on there. Uh, so perfect positive test for silver. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a little bit of an understanding on how to test uh, for silver content. Um, and I will be refining uh, all the silver you see here, maybe with the exception of some of these pieces that I did order. They're kind of cool. I might actually hold on to a couple of these. Um, but certainly all this stuff is going to get uh, refined. Um, so all this sterling, sterling silver, which is uh, 0.925 silver content, uh, will be refining uh, in the refining process. And it will refine that down to a 0.9999 fine silver. Uh, and then I'll be pouring that into bars, uh, maybe making some shot with it or kind of some fun stuff like this. Uh, I will probably also be posting some of that stuff up for sale or auction. So you guys can kind of take a look for that. Um, and uh, I will also be showing you guys some of the refining process as I do that as well. So you guys can kind of see what that looks like, how the silver actually completely breaks down into liquid um, silver nitrate. Uh, it's really quite a cool process. Uh, and then um, basically turning it from that back into a solid state of silver. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did like this and want to see more of this content, uh, please like, uh, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.